This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Enjoy elevating your IT skills with IT Pro from ACI Learning. Get exclusive access to practice labs, tests with real-world simulations, hands-on experience, and test preparation. Learn the way that works best for you. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to transform your talent with the best-in-class education from passionate experts. Let's jump into the news, starting with this. I thought this was actually pretty cool, and apparently... Apple devices have had this for I don't know how long. So this is one of those things like, okay, they had it first. And finally, uh, it looks like it's coming to Android. But find my device uh, even when my device is turned off. Because right now on Android, if you want to locate your device, say you leave it in a cab or something like that, or someone steals it, um, you only or you really- leave it at the Lowe's parking lot. Uh, did that happen to you? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, absolutely not. All right. That was, yes, that was yes, just uh, in interestingly specific. Um, if that happened to you or when it did happen to you, apparently, Burke, um, you can only really track your phone, at least on an ongoing basis, like in real time, if your phone is turned on. If it's turned off, I think that tool reports back to you the last known place that it was reported as on, which that information could either be very useful or not at all useful because it's not there anymore um, and it's off. So who the heck knows where in this world um, is Carmen phone? Um, <laughs> but uh, apparently Google is working on this for Pixel phones. It's called Pixel Power Off Finder. Uh, Google's working to build a network, uh, of course, for all Android devices. So including UWB, locator tags, phones, all that type of stuff. So this would be a part of that source code reportedly sure, uh, shared with OEMs in the Android 14 early access program um, seemed to point to this being in the works. It would require the Bluetooth chip to be kept on even when the phone is shut down. Uh, which is which seems like a, a, a oxymoron or what is that like how yeah. can the bluetooth chip be on if the phone is shut down well it requires <laughs> i imagine and oh. michelle maybe you can speak to this but i imagine it requires a certain type of bluetooth low energy chip in order to do that do you no energy chip well there's like broadly three things that need to be done for this kind of feature to pan out so the first thing is the find my device app itself it needs to be updated to you know support this feature. The second thing is at the OS level, there needs to be a way for the OS to basically send this data off to the Bluetooth chip. And that's what the, in the article that um, we're talking about, they mentioned a hardware abstraction layer. That's basically what they're talking about. The way for the OS to say, here is my finder device, um, like my broadcast ID. I'm going to send this off and store that on the Bluetooth chip. And then the third thing that needs to happen is that the device needs to be um, designed in such a way that uh, it can provide power to the Bluetooth chip even when the Android OS is powered down. So the OS can be off, but maybe like the, there's a ba the battery is still hooked up to the um, to the system on chip, and the system on chip is still able to provide power to the Bluetooth chip, you know, even when OS itself isn't running. So once you have all three of those things working, then you could have the device broadcast you know, it's a uh, finder ID, whatever it is, periodically, like maybe every every 10 seconds, even when Android itself is shut down. So when you have all that happening, that's how you get this kind of feature working. Fascinating. And then what is like, but I guess what comes to mind for me is but what about the battery implications of that? If, they, if, you know, because I shut down my phone, my thinking is my phone's off. Therefore, my battery is de depleting so slowly because I know there's no real way to like stop my battery from depleting. I've, I've come across devices that I shut down, you know, that I've had in a drawer for years. And I'm pretty sure I probably left with, with the charge at one point. And, you know, I, I go to it now and it's completely depleted. So over time, it just kind of empties. But isn't this going to empty that faster if there's a blue chip? A Bluetooth chip on the device still sipping that that battery juice uh, even when the phone's turned off? Well, actually, think about like, you know, those Bluetooth trackers that you're familiar with, right? Those yeah. things are really, really, really tiny, That's right? True. And they last yeah. a couple of days on 
a minuscule battery, much smaller than what's in your smartphone. Yeah. Think about how long a smartphone sized battery would last with the same kind of feature, just broadcasting when there's no display Months. running, there's no modem. That's a great 5G. Yep. So it could probably last like weeks, to be honest. Right. But, the, but those devices exist only to do that. Right. And I just worry about, a, you know, admittedly, like B, Bluetooth LE stands for low energy, right? But like the Bluetooth chip in the phone in a more complex system with a battery, like I, I, I don't know, I, I, I want to see it before I believe it, right? That it actually doesn't drain, you know, not to be a little skeptical to it, but it doesn't, you know, I, I, could, I could see a world where it drains a little more than they intend. Um, but I guess we'll have to find out. I mean, clearly Apple can do it, right? So they can right. too. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's it's possible. I'm I'm trying to think if I've read any you know sort of s stories or seen any headlines over the past few years. You know, since Apple has introduced this, I honestly don't know when Apple introduced this feature. I should have looked that up. But um, you know, if anybody's really noticed that, like, oh, my you know my powered off state used to last me x number of days but now it's like five days shorter because you know it must be because this thing is is sipping on the the battery juice um but i but i i don't recall seeing those stories so maybe it's really kind of minuscule maybe I, I would it like doesn't to matter add that everybody usually keeps all that stuff on anyway and doesn't turn it off like no, uh, normal joe's so yeah that's true you know the major yes the majority of the time these devices are left on um but I think this is this is a really powerful feature for, you know, for the for the person who gets their their phone stolen and, you know, the automatic kind of go to for the thief might be powered off because then they can't track it anymore. And then we can do whatever it is, the next step that thieves do with a stolen phone, uh, even if it's powered off. You know, I, I guess what does that mean that the that the thief would then have to wipe the phone the minute they get it, but they'd still need to be able to get into it. And if they don't know the security uh, pin or or password or whatever, then I mean that really diminishes what a thief could do with a with a stolen phone, right? Well, I think it just add, gives you the possibility of finding it more. Gives you right yeah, finding it. What what happens when you find it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just be careful if you're <laughs> if you're if you're hunting down your stolen phone you don't know who's on the other end of that stolen phone so just be careful just because you can't it's, it's a good rule of thumb there <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i like that all right 